G'day. Now, just the other day, I saw this story on the Popular Science website. Now, Popular Science is a great magazine. I've enjoyed it for many years. I've got so many back issues in print. I love this magazine. Not so much these days, but the old editions, they were great. And I was surprised to see this picture, which apparently is a picture of an, an ISIS drone. Now, ISIS have been manufacturing these drones, apparently, and they've been planning to use them against forces in Iraq. The factory was found in Iraq. Now, this was a picture that Popular Science took off a Twitter feed and put in this story. The link to this story will be found in the uh, description of this video. But what I'm going to show you now is something that might surprise you. Here we go. This is my model, which is just like that ISIS drone. I mean, what's going on here? I'll just walk you through this a little bit. Excuse me while I bump the camera. I've got to go and stand in front of the camera. But uh, here you go. I'll try and walk you through what this is. Now, I've got a big pulse jet engine on here. This is a pulse jet engine produces huge amount of thrust. And this is actually an off-the-shelf to store-bought model aircraft, almost ready to fly. You just have to glue the wings together and do a few other bits and pieces. But you could buy these things off the shelf virtually anywhere in the world. And it has a huge wing, so it's got plenty of lifting power. But it's a pretty slow-flying craft normally. They normally have a, a little uh, glow plug motor, a little nitro motor on the front, which spins a prop, pulls them through the air. And they have a good, I say, good weight carrying capability, but we're only talking one or two kilos here, not a lot more than that. I put a pulse jet on this one because I wanted to see how fast I could make it go. And you'll find a link to a video that I did some years ago showing this very craft flying under the power of this pulse jet engine. And it is pretty damn quick. Now, um, so I have to wonder, these ISIS uh, terrorists, did they really build this thing from scratch or have they just taken an off-the-shelf model Tried to make it fly, and obviously, looking at the pictures on the PopSci website, not too successful in doing that. So, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I'll give you a bit of a closer look around this thing, and you can decide for yourself whether it really is an ISIS drone. But as I say, if you want more information, go and look in the description of this website. There's links to the video that I posted of this thing flying and some more information you might find useful because I'm the guy that way back in 2002, 2003 predicted that off-the-shelf technology like model aircraft and drones as they have now become, could be harnessed by terror groups to commit attacks on Western targets. And I got into a lot of trouble. I built my own cruise missile. Built my own cruise missile out of stuff you can buy off the shelf, and they got me in a heap of trouble. So I'll put a link to that as well. You can see what went on, a few news reports, and some of the stuff that I wrote at the time, warning of the possibility that terrorists would take off-the-shelf hobby-grade equipment and use it to build their own quite capable cruise missiles. Hasn't happened yet. Uh, I was just a bit before my time, I think. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. This is a hobby I enjoy. I like flying these models. I'm no threat to anybody, and I don't think anyone else is either. ISIS drone, radio control model, you decide. What do you reckon? Put your comments in the description. Let's have a discussion on this. Thanks for watching. I've got work to do. Bye for now.